Good morning. Um, so, whoa, my voice just cracked. Um, I am going to be filming today a day in the life. Um, John and Tiana are also going to be in this video. We're basically going to be filming what a work day slash school day is like for all of us. And it's 630 right now. I'm about to get ready to go to work, pack our lunches and head off to the hospital. Um, I didn't have the gym this morning, so I didn't have to wake up super early. And then I'll catch up with you when I'm on my way there. Okay, it's almost seven. So I'm walking to work right now and it is cold. Look, can you see my breath? It is so cold out. I still enjoy my walks to work, even in the winter, but in the summer it does feel a little nicer to wake up and go outside to warm weather. Um, so when I get to work, I'll see what kind of surgeries I'll be doing the anesthesia for today, and then I'll let you know. I made it. Now I just gotta clock in really fast and change into my scrubs. I'm in the OR now setting up my room for my first case, which is going to be a spine case. So today I'll be doing spine surgery, which is exciting because I really like neurosurgery. Um, and I'm just setting up that, getting all my airway stuff ready. And look, this is my laryngoscope blade. And then I'm going to have a little break before my case actually starts because that surgeon is actually working on something else right now. So as soon as he's done, we'll be starting my case. Um, and that's about it for right now. So what we do in the mornings is basically get here, start setting up, checking all our airway stuff, setting up our beds and all that, and then check our patient in pre-op, get them back to the OR and get started for the day. Oh, look. So I went down to the cafeteria with my friend, she was getting breakfast, and the HR was down there giving out little gift certificates to say thank you because it's Thanksgiving week. So we got a $6 coupon for a coffee. And I thought that was really sweet. And look, there's a card in here that says, it's actually really cute. Thank you. You're awesome or something. Thanks for all that you do. Anyways, just wanted to show you that because I thought little things mean a lot. I have all my meds for my case. I just pulled them out of the machine. We get all of our medications out of, and my patient is ready to go. I just saw them in pre-op and talked to the anesthesiologist who I work with. So we're all ready to go. Um, the surgeon said we can move in shortly. So we'll be starting very soon. And I'm in the supply room, which is why I have my mask off, just in case you're wondering. But right about now is when John and Tiana are getting ready for school or either on their way to school. So I figured we would flip over to them for a little bit so you can see what they're up to this morning. We all know you guys are just here for Tiana anyway. All right, say good morning, everyone. <laughs> How you gonna make the oatmeal? So she saw me making the oatmeal. I poured it and she got upset because she wanted to pour it. So here we go. <gasps> Almost, good job. All right, what's, okay, okay. Well, what's next? What did daddy forget last time? Huh? What did daddy forget last time? The water. All right, here you go, princess. Remember, it's warm, okay? You gotta blow on it. So Rihanna likes to pick on me because I still hand feed Tiana her oatmeal every morning. And it's the only thing I hand feed her. She eats everything else by herself. But it's like the one thing I'm holding on to because she still lets me do it. Ready for a big bite? Huh. Yummy. So we share our bowl of oatmeal every morning. If you didn't watch the last vlog and something we've been doing ever since she was a little baby, she loves oatmeal. So. Like I said, I'm gonna hold on to it for as long as I can. If she lets me sit here and feed her when she's 11, I guess I'll do it. <laughs> Another bite? It's okay, I'll clean it up. All right, she wanted to ride her bike to school today. Lucky for me, it's 30 degrees outside. She used to not even be able to reach the pedals and now she can ride it all by herself. It's kind of sad. All right, so we made it about halfway and she decided she's cold. She's got her little hands inside my jacket here. So now I have a bike about halfway to school and I have her. I think I'm gonna have to leave the bike on the side of the road and hopefully it doesn't get stolen and walk you back. You want me to carry you the rest of the way? 
Okay. Say, you guys have a good day. Have a good day. Say, love you. It's three o'clock, so that means I'm getting off work now. It was actually a great day. I'm about to go change back into my regular clothes and out of my scrubs so I can head home. Another CRNA just took over and is finishing my last case so I can leave. And we just gave a full report, handover and everything. And that's it for the day. I'm just getting home. And remember how I got that coffee like gift certificate earlier for Thanksgiving from work? Well, it was for $6, so I was able to get John and I both grande lattes, and I only had to pay $2 more at the Starbucks in the hospital because we get a discount for being employees. So I got John an iced, sugar-free vanilla latte with coconut milk, and I got me the same exact thing, except for mine's hot. So I'm gonna bring that inside and surprise him with it, even though he probably already heard me talking on the porch. Okay, I'm trying not to spill it while I open the door and film. Oh, by the way, I cut my finger at work today on a broken vial. Um, so that's what this is. All right. Hey, babe. Hey, I knew you'd oh, be right thank there. thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Iced vanilla latte with coconut milk. <laughs> Why are you hiding in the corner? <laughs> I'm showing you drinking your coffee. Oh, is this B-roll? Yeah. <laughs> is it good? Yeah, it's really good. Thank you. How much better does it taste once I tell you it's it was free? Way better. Yeah. At least at least a hundred percent better when it's free. You don't want to know what I had to do to get that, but just know it was free. I'm sitting here at my computer now and I'm just hanging out. John's finishing up some work and I'm actually doing something very exciting and I'm reviewing my Spanish materials for my Spanish class tonight. Yes, you heard that right. Um, so ever since I graduated CRNA school, I've been wanting to start taking Spanish classes. I've always wanted to be good at speaking Spanish and this is finally my opportunity. I finally have time. So I'm taking my classes through Lingoda and I'm reviewing the materials right now for my lesson that is tonight. Um, it's gonna be after Tiana goes to bed. Lingoda is completely online and they're in-person virtual classes with a professor and other classmates, which is what I really love because you're able to practice your language and also hear other people speaking. If you're like me and you took Spanish a long time ago or another language that Lingoda offers, you might not know how good you are at it now. So I was able to take a placement test to see where I was in my Spanish speaking development. And um, I was very beginner. So I actually just started from the beginning from lesson one because I wanted to refresh on everything. I also love that all the materials on my computer. So when we're traveling or something like that, I can continue my classes because I don't have to like bring books or show up in person anywhere. The reason I'm actually wanting to learn Spanish besides just a personal goal is because we often have Spanish speaking patients in the clinical setting and where I currently am, we don't have a lot of Spanish speaking providers where we have to talk through the iPad and it's very impersonal. So I think it would just be great if I could communicate with those patients. And if you wanna sign up with Lingoda, which I highly suggest if you're looking to learn a language, I will have my link in the description for a discount. You get 40% off when you sign up and also a free seven day trial and just see if you're interested in pursuing another language on their platform, which I think you will be. I'm doing the marathon plan, which is an immersive plan to help you become good at a language, but there's also other plans. You could do the monthly plan. So it's good that you have those options. We'll be picking up Tiana from daycare here shortly in just about an hour and seeing what kind of fun we're gonna get into for the night. Um, I have not bought anything. For Thanksgiving yet so that is actually really bad we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving but we do like to cook so we're gonna have to get some stuff tonight and figure out what we want to eat tomorrow because I think all the stores are gonna be closed but anyways first things first let me get my lesson done I finished my lesson review are you proud of me yes good job baby. did you learn anything yeah come on stars mi espasa es bonita was that two sentences or one? You don't even know what I said. I, I just, do too. I was fluent over here. You said, how are you? My wife is beautiful. I think oh, so I didn't much. mean to say that. 
I can't believe sunset's happening at 5.03 p.m. I know, I feel bad because I was like, let's go pick up Tiana real quick because it's getting dark and she's going to probably think we left her. Um, So we're going to get Tiana. Like I said, I haven't gotten anything for Thanksgiving yet. And I also said that we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving for like the original meaning, but we use that as a day to eat and be thankful. Oh, you're so new age and so edgy. Yeah, for real. I just want to make sure people understood. Um, And also, I didn't plan out what we're going to eat, but we are going to go to the store and get stuff to make tomorrow. We're just going to wing it. The um, little kids watching you vlog. So <laughs> He's like, I know what a vlogger is. So that should turn out well, you guys. I'm a planner, and I didn't plan anything for this because I've been busy, mostly like with more than money. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I have been. Uh -huh. We have a community, you guys, called More Than Money, where we help people like invest in real estate and um, reach their financial goals, get out of debt, and things like that. Dude, I'm excited because um, our group so, has been growing recently, and like I like all the new members and stuff. I know it's. Really I know fun. this video is not about that, but if you guys are interested in that, you guys should definitely check that out. And um, now we're at school, so we're gonna wait for Tiana to come out. This is like our favorite part of the day because she's so excited to run out and come say hi to us and tell us what she's been up to. Ready to find some good food. We got our baby. Hey, you want a cookie? Uh huh. Which cookie do you want? That one. Can you get it? Uh huh. Is this your favorite? Uh huh. You got it? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> open. Open? Mmm. Mm -hmm. Can Daddy have a little bite? No. <laughs> a little bite? No. Whatever. Then. Can Daddy have a little bite? No. A little bite? No. Whatever then. We have so many choices for roasts, but the guy that works here told me this one is the best and we've never had it, so I'm gonna choose that one today. So does anyone else have a spouse that always says, hey, I'm just gonna go to the store and get a couple things, one or two things, and it's never one or two things, it's always a bag or two or three bags? It's never one or two things. He doesn't complain when he's eating all the food I cooked. Do you? That, that's true. But mm -hmm. also, you grocery shop like I feel like four times a week. No. On average, four times a week. We do one big haul, and I think you forget stuff intentionally so that you have an excuse to go back to the store. I love the store, the grocery store. Okay, we can just leave and I won't get you any food. I was kidding, babe. It's all fine. <laughs> what are you trying to do? You trying to, oh, uh, you waving? <laughs> How much uh, cookies do you have in your mouth there? Oh no, nobody wants to see that. Yucky. Nothing. You're helping. You're a good helper. You taking it up front to pay? Yeah. I hope we don't have any bread or crackers or chips in there. <laughs> Can you put it on the counter? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Um, hey babe. Yep. We just have to go to one more store. <laughs> what store? Kroger. You said that if they had everything you needed here, we didn't need to go there. Yeah, but as it would That's what I'm talking seem, about. This is what I'm talking about. They don't have everything. What are they missing? I bet you just make something up. Potatoes and the macaroni and cheese noodles I need. Oh, I can't live without mac and cheese. Mm -mm. So you're lucky. Mm -hmm. You're lucky. And stuffing. You I, lo I love Ew. stuffing. Stuffing, even when we I did Thanksgiving, stuffing and the cranberry sauce or cranberry slices is the Ew. worst thing imaginable. Ew, no, I don't want that. But I love stuffing. It's just flavored bread. How could you not like it? It's not that I don't like it. It's just weird. And it's got a weird name to it. <laughs> well, you can also call it dressing, but I feel like that's even more weird. You want to get the blue one? <laughs> <laughs> you did it. She picked white rice what out of everything. What are you going to do store? with all that? Uh, you you want to put it back? Uh -huh. Good job, baby. I don't know if you guys care what I bought at the grocery store, but John is convinced that you want to see what I bought, so I'm gonna show you really fast. Sorry if it's boring. Skip ahead about 45 seconds. You already saw that garden roast. We got mac and cheese, which I think I showed you that as well. Stuffing, I know it has a turkey on it, but it actually doesn't have any turkey or chicken or meat or anything like that in there. I read the ingredients. Um, we got this cheese tray, which we've never had before. It's new, I guess, for the holidays, so I wanted to try it with some crackers, um, potatoes to make mashed potatoes and gravy, and then a Marie Callender apple pie. These are actually vegan, which is really cool. 
and um, cocoa whip to go on top of the pie. And then also I have like veggies, like green beans and broccoli in the freezer. I know this is super processed, nothing homemade, nothing from scratch, but my mom and my sister are together in North Carolina um, today, tomorrow, and over the weekend. And my brother has to work, so him and his girlfriend are in Virginia. And then we're here, so we're just like making something small and easy so we can enjoy our time tomorrow instead of like spending the whole day cooking. And that's why, you know, I bought everything except the mashed potatoes already made. So now I'm gonna make dinner, not this stuff, this is for tomorrow, but I'm gonna make our dinner for tonight. Um, we're gonna all eat dinner, get Tiana like dressed for bed and then have some family time before she has to go to sleep. We just finished dinner, Tiana had a bath, and now we're doing art time before bed because that's the activity she chose. So she's doing painting. This is one of her favorite things ever. More water, more water. More water? It looks like you have a lot of water right there. Mommy, markers, marker, markers. You wanna do markers? Okay, we could do markers. Oh, those are big feet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. Whoa, those are big feet. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is your heel a straight angle? Okay. Let's trace your head. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Whoa, it's a big head. And you got a nose and you got two eyeballs. And you got a mouth and you're always smiling. Oh, good job. I wanted to show you guys something um, while we're coloring. I finally found a tree, if you were following that whole thing in the previous vlogs, and we hung our TV on the wall, so we're getting closer to like finishing this space, but we have an empty space right there, which I don't even know if it really needs anything, and then this dining area is a very empty space, so we need to do something with that wall. <laughs> um, round table or a long table is the debate. Yes. Rhea wants a long table? No, I'm 50-50. What do you think, long table or round table? That means round. <laughs> so my worry is the long table, it's gonna be like another rectangle, like the peninsula right there, but that might work best. But I was thinking like a round rug and a round table. Yeah, and then we need to put something like um, shelves or something hanging on that wall. And then I think we'll be finished. So round table or rectangle table. Okay guys, vote below. It's Fight Club time. Who is, Who it? is it? Gigi, hi Gigi. Oh, oh it's Gigi? Gigi? Let me see, let me see. Hello? It is Gigi. Yeah, up it, up it. You do it, see, you can do it. Look at you, pull hard. Good job. Whoa, your first what? banana you opened. <laughs> <laughs> you ate the phone. You ate the phone, Gigi's gone now. She's not on, she's not on the phone anymore. <laughs> yeah. Tiana's sleeping now and I stopped recording while we actually got ready for a bed because she hasn't wanted to go to sleep for the past few nights or to go upstairs to go to bed, so it's been a little bit of a battle. Um, once you get her in bed and everything, she's okay, but she definitely fights trying to go upstairs and go to bed. Uh, so it's just a little phase she's going through, but now that she's asleep, I'm about to hop on my Spanish class on Zoom really fast, which I'm excited about. And um, that's not too long, maybe 30 minutes to an hour. And then John and I are gonna watch something on Netflix. So I'll be doing that just for a little bit. Um, and then we'll be hanging out. You guys haven't seen me with glasses on, the reason why, because when I take my contacts out and put these on, it reflects off the light. So now I'm just gonna have to talk to you blind. Because you're blind as a bat. I know. It's very reflective. So now she can't even see the uh, camera, I don't think. I'm looking over here. I can kind of see, I think. Um, so we're going to watch Netflix. We watched Squid Games was the last show we watched, and we finished it. I feel like that show was so weird. Did you think so? It was definitely weird. It was, it was like it was entertaining, but it was weird. Yeah, it was like a train wreck. That's the only way I can explain it. A train wreck that you can't stop watching, even though like I don't even know if you really want to watch it. You it's how I describe stop. you to people. Thank you so much. I just really love that. <laughs> now we're watching one of my favorite shows, which is you. Not my favorite show, but I'll watch it for you, babe. We can watch something else if you want. That's okay. 
I like it. I feel like it's really interesting. And the season that's going on right now, like the most recent season three, is like really funny about relationships. I feel like you turn the, our vlog into a, uh, a Netflix review. Well, I bet everybody's watched it, so maybe they can relate to what I'm saying, right? I just want to hurry up and watch it, and that way it ends. So we'll be hanging out. We're both off tomorrow. And look, we're holding hands. Aren't we cute? <laughs> we're in love. Blink twice. If you... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. This was a little bit of a different kind of vlog because we just kind of went through our normal day, like on a work day. Is and this interesting to people? Yeah, I don't know. Is this interesting to you? I feel like now you're just hearing us ramble, but... I feel like this is what people don't want to see. Really? Yeah. Yeah, me sitting here with no shirt on and like laying on the couch watching Netflix <laughs> in a purple blanket. Maybe they do want to see it. All right, thank you. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me at The Frugal Investor. No. Hit, hit my Instagram, <laughs> like it, subscribe, follow, link down below. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We really appreciate your support as always. Drop anything you want to see below because we're always looking for fun vlog ideas. Um, we love filming and editing and stuff like that. So Yeah, and if we pick your idea, we won't give you anything. <laughs> All right, have a good day and we will see you next week.